What's going on, peeps? We're back at Morrison's. It's been a while. Been really, really difficult to get these blocks lately. But I've managed to nab just the one today. And the scheduling of them has changed slightly as well. So it's now 1.30 until 3. Used to be 1.45 till 3.15. And I've noticed that the two-hour block that comes up later in the day doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. And they've replaced that with another one and a half hour block, which I haven't seen today. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Probably not. So yeah, it's all changed a little bit. And the pay has also gone up slightly. This used to be £26.50. It's now £28 for an hour and a half. So as long as the distance hasn't substantially changed, that's a good thing, I guess. It's just coming up to half past one now, so we'll go ahead and check in and see where we're going today. Oh, look, time for another identity check. I swear you have to do these like every two blocks lately. Like, is it really necessary, Amazon? Looking good, son. We've got our route. Only took a couple of minutes to come in, so that's good. It means we can get cracking straight away. 15 bags to pick up. That's ideal. That means I can do that in one trip and it shouldn't fill up the car to the point of most people shopping getting crushed. So five stops. Morrison's is the first one, so that's four drops. Let's see where we're going. Okay, so we've got a couple in the Taunton area and then we're heading up this way. Certainly not the worst I've had. Should be a nice little drive. This one in particular uh, is sort of in the countryside, so that'll be fun. Right, let's go get these bags. then let's get on the road we are going to be pretty quick getting these first two dropped and then the most of the driving is going to be on the way to drop number three but then after that we're only going down the road then to Wiverliscombe and then the way back from Wiverliscombe to Taunton is very very straightforward so should be fine these Morrison's blocks are um, beginning to feel quite special when I get them now because they're just so rare. I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether more drivers are to blame or less demand is to blame or whatever it is, but I'm still slightly salty that the days of me being able to get two Morrison's blocks pretty much every day I work. Smack bang, in the middle of the day when the food delivery apps are quiet, you know, it was so convenient. It was such good scheduling for me. And it just made sense. I'd be done with the Morrison's blocks at half five, quarter to six, just as the food delivery apps are starting to get busy again. And I can just jump straight back on food delivery and keep earning money. Now, I'm finding myself having to do full days of food delivery a lot more often. And on days like today, when I'm lucky enough to get myself a Morrison's block, it's only uh, 1.30 until three. So I'll be going back on food delivery just as the schools kick out, which uh, it's not ideal, but I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, the pay difference isn't massive. Food delivery has been good enough. I really enjoyed the Morrison's blocks. They were just nice pieces of variety in the middle of my day. Took me out of Taunton, gave me that kind of guaranteed £61.50 that the two used to pay altogether. You know, you didn't have to worry about order volumes or anything. You knew you were getting that money. So yeah, it's um, slightly sad, but what can you do? Also slightly annoying, they've gotten rid of the two hour block and the later afternoon that I used to do. It used to be 1.5 and then a two hour. And now they're both 1.5 hours at least from what I've seen over the last few weeks. Those two hour ones seem to have um, become a thing of the past. But still, I'm gonna do all of the Morrison's blocks I can. As for me, these are obviously a lot easier for me to do than logistics where I have to travel to Exeter. And the fact that the pay has gone up to 28 pounds instead of 26.50, you know, that's one, one good thing, I suppose. As always, guys, my odometer was reset at Morrison's. I know exactly what time I logged in. So we're going to see um, exactly what our expenses are at the end of the block. What we'll do after our final drop is we'll go on Google Maps and we'll look at our distance and time back to Taunton, add that onto what we've done, and we'll be able to figure out our total profit for the shift. How low will that £28 go? That is the question. Right. Our first delivery is just up here to a block of flats that I've never actually delivered to. For Amazon or food delivery, which is interesting. Once you've done this job a while, you think, oh, I must have delivered absolutely everywhere in this town. There's nowhere I haven't been. But time and time again, I get proven wrong. 
Right, so there is a gate that I can't get through into the car park of these flats. So I'm ringing the customer now. Hello, this is Amazon with your Morrison shop. Uh, I Well, I was about to turn into your into St George's Place, but there's a barrier and I don't know how else to get in. Um, okay, I'll, just, I'll just come to the barrier. Okay, no worries. I'll meet you there. Okay, see you soon. All right, thanks. Bye. Results. The customer is going to come to the barrier and meet me, which makes my life a lot easier. So I'm just going to have to pull over... This is the only problem, right? There isn't really anywhere to park. All these spaces are taken. I'm just gonna have to stick it up here and be quick. Do you want me to bring these just up to the door? Uh, no, I think they'll be fine. You sure? Thank you. Perfect, thanks a lot. Let's see if we can swipe here. Yes. One down. Oh, it's moaning now. I hate this bloody orange circle. Bane of my life. It's fine, we're gonna go up this way anyway, so we'll just have to hit it on the way up. All right, time to turn this sucker around. We need to tick that delivery off once we pass through. I'm all right to come out, yep. Boom, done. Oh, that's annoying because I want to go, I want to go right. Oh, f*** it. Naughty, naughty. Sorry, officer, I didn't see the uh, no right turn sign. My bad. Technically, I turned left and then I did a U-turn. Right there, next delivery is just over this mini roundabout coming up. Let's go get this one dropped off and then we'll see where we're going for drop number three because I'm curious. I don't mind the uh, this kind of 20, 30 minute drives when they're nice and the mileage doesn't end up being too ridiculous, but I don't think it will be. Right, so we are, I think, in these ones here. Yes, yes we are. This will do. Just the two bags for this one. Yeah, either these two or these two. And it is these two. The rejigging. Keep everything secure. Let's go and drop these off. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thanks for coming out, mate. All yours. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Ideal. Customer came out to meet me. Always, always appreciated. Boom. 26 minutes and we're going to Lydiard St. Lawrence. I say that as if I've got any f***ing clue where that is. I know what it's between, but I don't think I've been to this exact area, so... It should be fun. Let's go Google Maps. Oh, does anyone else's Google Maps do this thing where you, you look up your directions and look where it thinks I'm starting from. It thinks I'm starting from there, but I'm here. And that's where I last was, right? That was my last delivery. So Google Maps, I don't know, for some reason doesn't look at your starting GPS location live, at least on iPhone. Maybe that's my punishment for not using an Android phone. But it soon updates as soon as you start moving, but it's just that initial that initial route it gives you is slightly off. Yeah, no idea why it does that. It never used to do that. So yeah, 11 miles, 23 minutes. Not too bad on the mileage, to be honest. Yeah, so far this block's gone very well. Two drops and two customers that came out to meet me. Saved me having to climb a load of stairs or go in lifts in flats. And yeah, two drops down. We've only, we're only just about to hit two miles. So add this 11, there won't be any more than five, I reckon, to the last drop and then back, yeah, medium. Medium on the mileage today, but that uh, that extra £1.50 that these blocks are now paying is gonna come in handy. It's a shame the weather isn't a bit nicer, seeing as we're going out into the countryside a little bit. Always looks nicer on camera, and the sun shining on the grass, and the scenery just looks, yeah, a lot prettier when it isn't gray and overcast, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain too much about the weather. It's been quite mild lately, and I am loving the longer evenings. It's going to make the next few months of filming videos a lot easier because whilst I'm stuck with just GoPro cameras, you've probably noticed that in some of my other videos where I'm filming at night time, the footage is just crap. And that's after I've tried to edit it 
and bump the exposure up so you can actually see what's going on. Because honestly, unless you're driving down somewhere that's, you know, decently lit, you literally can't see anything. If I'm driving down a road with no street lighting, the footage you get out of the GoPro is basically pitch black. You can just see like my speedo lit up and a faint glow from my headlights in front of me and that's it. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about longer evenings and the clocks are gonna go forward, back, whatever direction it goes in to make the evenings lighter. Yeah, it's doing that at the end of this month. And that makes me a very, very happy boy. Right, let's continue on our way to drop number three in Lydiard St. Lawrence. Fun fact, this commando's base we're going past now, I think it's the Royal Marines, they sometimes order Deliveroo and drive in down there <laughs> to deliver and there's like a bloke stood there with a gun. It's pretty sketchy. room here. I think he's all right. Oh, we're skidding. Oh God, we're skidding. Thank you, mate. Only problem when it's just loose, wet dirt on the side of these lanes. This car doesn't have a great time, but often in those situations, I like to hope that the, the bigger, more off-road vehicle will be the one that goes into the mud and not me. Still, I haven't got the car stuck yet, even through all those Amazon blocks out in the sticks. We've somehow managed not to beach this car anywhere. So I absolutely have no idea where I am now. About a couple of minutes ago, I thought I recognized where I was going, but I don't think I do. This is a new address, but it's all good. I'm enjoying this. It's nice to uh, get out of the town on a Morrison's block, because whilst I have managed to get a few Morrison's blocks lately, like I said, nowhere near as, as many as I used to get, but they've all been in either Taunton or like Bridgewater, and I they haven't really taken me anywhere interesting. And whilst driving down roads like this is often people's idea of hell, and I mean it is mine, especially in like bad weather or in the dark, in this situation I, I don't mind it. And it's been a while, so it's actually quite enjoyable. I just, whenever I come down places like this I, and I see houses like that, I sort of, I imagine what it would be like to like live there. Like it must just be so peaceful. I don't know, peaceful for some, very lonely for others I guess. I don't think I'd mind it, to be honest, as long as I was within a close enough drive of a town where I could go shopping and meet people for a coffee or whatever. I don't think I'd have an issue living out in the sticks. As long as I could get decent speed broadband, which to be honest might be the... <laughs> that's probably the main issue. If any of you watching, if you live in the countryside, let me know in the comments, is broadband still an issue out in these parts? Or have they sorted that out now? Was I meant to go down there? No, I think it's the next one. Do I know where I am? No. DPD. Well, that's not me. I've definitely not been here before. How cute. Right. Let's get this order dropped off. Oh, I can breathe some fresh air. It's these two. Love these doors. Proper door knocker, that. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Just these two bags, all right. Okay, cheers. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have a good day. Lovely jubbly. Nice and easy drop. Lovely customer. And I, well, seven minutes with offline maps. You know you're in the countryside when you Google Maps screen, it's just blank. And yeah, this is our, our last drop. This has gone really quick. When I first signed into the block and got the route, I thought this was going to take a bit longer, but. Yeah, this video might be over before I've even really started it. But you know what, it's been quite a nice route. It's been nice to get out into the country. And uh, yeah, at the end, we'll, we'll see if that tiny pay increase has done us well. But yeah, I don't know, I, there's, there's, there is a part of me that would love to try living out in these areas. Like, look at all these, oh, watch it. My girlfriend's from there. Yeah, part of me would love to try living out in the sticks. If I could like have like a trial period where I could just go back to my old flat if I don't like it. Honestly, I'd give it a go. 
I'm not, you know, a busybody. I'm not this huge social butterfly. And I'm more than happy to, to do a bit of driving, to do things like that. So what I'd value more, I think, is the peace and quiet, knowing that either you don't have any neighbors or the neighbors you do have are kind of old and quiet. <laughs> And like you can get everything delivered these days. Like surely it's not a big, it's not a big issue being out in the sticks. Not, not like it, it would have been 20, 30 years ago before the internet was a big thing. Like these days, Amazon, you just get. Doesn't matter where you are in the country, you can pretty much get anything. Next day, yeah, don't know where I am, but it's been very nice to get out somewhere like this. And pretty much all I've been doing the last couple of weeks is just food delivery in Taunton. It really does get a bit samey. I mean, it's been fine earnings wise, but it's mainly just, you know, you just see the same places every single day. That's a cool cottage. I'd love to live there. <laughs> yeah, I am definitely a uh, countryside fantasizer. Right, we are two minutes from our final drop. Yeah, this video is going to be fairly short, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed our nice little drive today. Certainly doesn't seem like with the pay increase on this block that they've gotten any worse. I mean, I think this is like the second one I've done at the new rate, so not exactly a huge sample size. Remains to be seen. They might have increased the range that uh, people are able to order, or Amazon just might be, I don't know, feeling generous. Because as we saw with the Exeter pay increase that we had over Christmas, they promptly <laughs> turned that back down once the busy period was over. But this, you know, this isn't the Christmas period. This has happened in, in March or at the end of February, they, they changed it. So we shall see as we continue our gig delivery adventure, I guess. Right, here we are, arriving into the town of Wivelliscum. And I know from here, it's a, um, a very, very simple drive back to Taunton. It's just, there is an A road down that way. So the mileage should be pretty low. Time should be pretty low to get back. Might be a squeeze. Here for now, and we'll see if she's in. No, this is her car. I've delivered to this customer several times before. Let's see. Hey, all right. Yeah. All there for you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. And luckily, 25 minutes before the end of the block, so we won't get sent back to Morrison's. All right, with that drop done, I thought we would just head back to Taunton before we do the numbers so we can get the real mileage and the real time it took. Plus, I think the drive back is quite nice. So let's get back to Taunton and we'll run down the numbers for what's been actually quite a pleasant Morrison's block today. I don't think I've ever known an Audi to be doing 40 miles an hour on a national speed limit. First time for everything, I suppose. Right, Mr. Horse? We're, uh, we're parked up, we've just gotten into Taunton uh, within the Deliveroo area, so I'm calling the Amazon shift here. And I thought I'd run you through my spreadsheet that actually I haven't used for a while to figure out my expenses. I've just been doing it like in the calculator because I know all the, the calculations, but I'm gonna start using this again because it's very, very, very handy. And all of the results columns here just fill out automatically when you put the basics in. So time in, time out, block length. I mean, that doesn't really do anything to the numbers. It's just for reference mileage and what your pay was and it will figure out all of this stuff for you what your hours worked were fuel cost insurance cost net profit hourly rate it will figure all that out for you now obviously the numbers for things like insurance cost are catered to me but you could easily just edit this spreadsheet to use your own costs so we'll go ahead and we'll put in today's uh, date so it's the 13th of march we clocked in at 28 minutes past one and we finished the block also on the 13th of the 3rd, 24, and it was 2.49 when I parked up here. So even with just those two uh, pieces of data in, if we scroll over, we've now got uh, hours worked, so you can see 1.35 and 67 pence insurance cost, because all you need to figure that out is the time that you've worked. And if we go back and fill the rest in, block length was 1.5. I mean, I guess I could use this column and compare it to this column here to kind of see the percentage under or over that we went and then kind of figure out an average over time. Maybe I'll, I'll add that on. Mileage, it was, let me check, 22.9, 22.9 9 miles. And we can already see that it's filled in the fuel cost, three pounds 32. I have updated it to use my current fuel calculation. It's 0.145 pence per mile. 
although I'll probably need to update that again soon. Fuel fuel prices have slightly increased over the last couple of months, but not by much. That's that's pretty much going to be it. And then our pay was £28. So if we scroll over, we can see our profit was exactly £24 and we made £17.78 per hour. And that calculation obviously uses this number here, not the uh, not the block length, so that it's accurate to the hours you actually worked for the block. And you can see there as well, I think, I've just highlighted all of my hourly results for the blocks I've tracked, and the average, £15.45 per hour after expenses for Morrison's blocks, at least the ones I've tracked on here. So there we go, guys, under the Morrison's block done. A pretty decent hourly rate. Very happy with that. Very happy with the block, to be honest. It was a nice route, easy drops, helpful customers, and a decent hourly rate to boot. Can't really ask for more than that. I will do my best to get more of these blocks so we can keep adding to that spreadsheet. I know the average at the minute is pretty good, but I haven't got that many blocks on there. There's like 15, something like that. And that's on me, to be honest, because I've done plenty of blocks uh, towards the end of last year and at the start of this year that I haven't put on there. So I need to get back into the habit of using that spreadsheet. And also, if you want a copy of that spreadsheet, I'm more than happy to make like a blank public version that people can import onto their own Google Sheets. Guys, thank you for watching. It's been fun to do another Morrison's block. Hopefully I can get more of these and uh, we can continue exploring the wide and diverse Somerset delivery area for Morrison's and hopefully continue to get a relatively decent hourly rate. 15.45 average for the ones I've tracked. Most of those blocks are from the middle of last year towards kind of autumn time. So things won't have changed that much. I think that's roughly accurate, but yeah, like I said, we need to add more. I'm gonna do my best to get the blocks. I'm gonna be trying to use that spreadsheet for all my different gig jobs. So in a while, we should be able to get enough data on there to compare the average pay rates for logistics, Morrisons and food delivery and see which one is paying me the best. Thanks for watching as always, folks. Good to have you with me and I'll catch you very, very soon for the next video. See you later, folks.